G'day. In today's lessons we're going to learn how to use rulers and guidelines. Uh, it's really simple. Uh, first thing we're going to do is turn on the, the ruler function and to do that we're going to go up here to the, the view menu option and go ahead and select rulers down here. So now we see at the top here and also down the side we have these rulers that we can use. Uh, one of my favorite uses of this is to do a warm-up exercise practicing uh, drawing ellipses and to do that I like to drop down some straight guidelines here so if I click up the top section here and drag down I can actually pull a guideline down uh, and I'll pull a few of those down here and then what I like to do is practice drawing different size ellipses so now I've got some straight lines to guide me it helps to get consistency when I'm doing this warm-up exercise and then I can start practicing my ellipses right here Oh, and we can see here that it's actually uh, trying to snap to the line so we we'll want to turn that feature off uh, so we'll go back up here to the view and we'll go to snap to and right now you can see it's uh, snapping to those guidelines we're going to turn that off and now we'll try that again so we'll go ahead alright so that's uh, uh, how you turn on rulers and, and use guidelines this is one example of how to use it Another uh, reason why, why you might want to use guidelines is if you're working from a reference photo and you're trying to um, draw that out and make sure that proportions and, and things like that were correct and some of the key landmarks were lining up, you could drop some guidelines down and, and make sure all those things line up there as well. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.